Hey, YouTubers, don't forget to tune in right now here on AfterBuzz TV as we speak the real world. You don't want to miss it. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. No more pain. No more drama. Please, no more Yeah, but drama. we want drama on this show. No more. Thank you for tuning in here on AfterBuzz TV. You're watching The Real World Season 32, Episode 5. Mr. Rippy could not be here tonight, but he will be here next week. But instead, you got me and my co-host. I'm Paulina Aguilar. You guys can find me on Twitter at underscore Paulina Aguilar and on Instagram at Paulina M. Aguilar. And please say hey, hello to my lovely co-host. Hey, hey, it's Candice Renee Rice, a.k.a. Pimp Fried Rice. You can find me on Instagram at underscore Pimp Fried Rice and Candice Renee Rice because my mama is friends with me on there. And <laughs> Mari. This song just makes me want to drink. I feel like I'm going through it right now listening to Mary J. What's up, guys? My name is Omari. You can follow me on Twitter and IG at On with Omari. Also on Snapchat at Omari B. We're going to talk about tonight's episode. So and with drama. that side, how do you feel about that? Because you don't seem very excited. No, I'm very, like, I know I'm not excited because it's kind of sad if you want to jump into it right now. Like, yeah. Theo Well, we are, Cassius. but I saved I say that story best yeah. for, for the last because right, we'll I, we last. have a lot to That's go on That's why I'm sad, that. though. It's just the drama in that family situation. Yeah, but we'll get to it, it later. is sad. It is sad. Um, overall, we did have a couple a couple disputes here and there. We mm -hmm. do have a really sad story to talk about with Cassius and Theo because that honestly touched my heart, and we'll get to that towards mm -hmm. the end. Uh, to start off, though, I want to get into this whole new the new cast that started off in the uh, the the OG and the new roommates yeah. because it is irritating me that they keep fighting about whose side you're on and this and that and you don't deserve to be here and so blah blah blah, blah blah what do you think it's really like what he said like high school reality tv type oc type stuff like what do you mean by know. OC? Like, like Orange County. When you say like OC, Orange, I think of Orange County. County. Like, like the TV show. Yeah, like the TV okay. show. Like, no one has real problems. But now, you know, it's hard. First real problems. Okay, well, like yeah. yeah. Now, the, the whole thing problems. with Theo and Cassius, that is a real problem. And yeah. we'll yeah. see that later on in the show, all the all tours and whatnot. But, um,. I don't know. Like I'm just really feeling like everybody in their bad blood. Like it's really not. I think the most extreme thing is maybe the exes, because that's something that's difficult. Like I would hate to be in a house with my ex. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like you. Just so, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I just um, it's really just kind of like yeah. mm -hmm. like I feel like they could have went deeper. Like they really could have like. I don't, know. I don't know. I feel you. No, I understand what you're saying. But as far as like the... I need, I need somebody to fight. Can y'all bang? Thanks. I think Kim and uh, Tia are going to fight eventually. But as far as the old roommates versus the new roommates thing, I, I think it's kind of... Donna. I mean, it's kind of childish. Like They're making fun of them for coloring instead of wanting to go out. And hey, look, I love to color. <laughs> color, like, relieve stress. It's very relaxing. And at the end of it, you come off a beautiful picture. Yeah. So and why I'm you colored, hate why so, you, And yeah. I wear colored. So I didn't appreciate that. Was that, like, low key racist? I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't know what it's maybe it was. Because we color. That's why. All right. Moving on. Moving no, no, on. Just no, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing <laughs> that I don't mic? like no, with just, this. Yo, Harrison, we're still so low. Wait, high. no. They cut us Here's off. Here's the thing that I don't like about this whole banter is that. Yeah. When you go through the process of being casted on a show, you've seen the real world, at least the OGs have, mm -hmm. to be on that show. If they're asking you questions, who's your rival, who's this person, who don't you like, come on, you really gonna get mad that they're bringing in people? You know it's gonna happen, you know that's happening. why you're on the show. Exactly. Yeah, everyone. For exactly. the drama, so if if I have something to say, stop complaining. Well, I feel like they're also like playing up to the fact that these are like our rivals and our enemies, so maybe that's part of why they're like, oh, we gotta stick together, oh, you guys can't come out with us, oh, you guys are staying in, that's cool. It's like, not really it's kind of lame so i feel like the fact that they are the rivals are sort of playing up to it maybe for the sake of the show and they're trying to like be i don't know stand offish although they did bond later on in the episode but we'll get to that i guess uh they did we or see they made an effort to go out together <laughs> yeah well well eh, not really because no. they did have a girls night guys out but it evening, was new and old partake. girls and new and old guys all well, together that, that's fine that's fine uh and then when they come back from the club we see Mike and Anna arguing and they start throwing blows. So 
Virgo blues. I know. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how that started. I don't know. That's it was ridiculous. I don't really. I'm not really too sure how a lot of these fights start, and that's why I'm like. So, this is so, so like, basically, they were both dogging each other, talking crap on each other, uh -huh. and Mike had made a comment about, "Hey, where's Peter? Is he in your bed?" And then oh, he yeah, went yeah, off yeah, of that. Yeah. And then Anna kind of took it, and you know, she's like, "Okay," and she fired back. And Mike doesn't like that. He I gets very it. defensive. It's okay when he stirs the pot, but not when someone fires back. Exactly. And that is a very, very bad character. Characteristic to have. Well, yeah. on top of the whole Mike being an instigator thing, also Katrina is still irritated because Mike rejected her like a couple episodes ago. You guys you remember? You really think that? so? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I think so. I think that's. Yeah, I think it's a I thing. So. Like <laughs> she mentioned it. Like oh, she didn't even like about Jordan not even liking Mike initially, so mm -hmm. she didn't understand like their Why? whole Why thing so together. Yeah, she's so bothered. she she also like little hater. A little she, hater. Yeah, but then he attacked her sister. Yeah, I'm saying like there's re there's both. It's both. It's not either and or and or is both. Whatever the fucking saying is, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think Katrina. I think Katrina just being a regular girl. Girl, just like she kind of she feels some type of way. She really do towards Mike, and that's just what so it in is. So in this argument year between them, mm -hmm. who's right, who's wrong? I think they're all dumb as fuck. Yeah, I, I think they're all like everybody. <laughs> well, for the sake fucker. of the show, if you had to pick a side, who's right, who's wrong? I can't it's, pick a side. I can't either, First of all, my everybody know Mike a punk. So for anybody to feed into his instigating, like y'all know this what he do. Exactly. Like, well, I don't think come Anna with knows it. Like, that, he come though. with it like clockwork. They all know that. That's his mo. Anna Everyone, doesn't know that because she just came. But into Katrina the house. does. And yeah, Katrina's yeah. And Katrina was doing a whole come here, yeah. let me punch your face. See, I'm not a fan of that. Of the whole, you know, I don't like anybody hitting. Anybody hating anybody, yeah, let alone a girl is... trying to step to a guy, I don't think it's fair. Exactly. I think it's ridiculous because a, a guy's not going to hit her. But, but hit at the back. same time, here's the thing. Well, no, don't do her. that. But here's the thing. That is her sister. So for, for, the, for the fact that Mike wants to call her fake and all of a sudden she's choosing that side, mm -hmm. well, that's your sister. I don't care. I would pick my family too in a heartbeat. Obviously. I don't care yeah. who you are. But I don't think that Katrina switched up her personality. She didn't. You know no, what I'm she was defending so her Mike sister. Is just, Causing drama. Yeah. He's tripping and being a douchebag. Yeah, I, I, I know agree. He's he probably just picking at something because you don't pick it with people's families, and so that right. that triggers something that I, I not wouldn't say out of character, but it's just not a it's not something about yourself that you reveal. Like most people don't pick at each other's families like that. And she has her sister in the right house, there. and I do like the fact that Theo stepped in, was like, "Yo, like that's her sister. Stop arguing with them." Yeah. You know, so. Theo's the real man. Theo's the winner. I'm on Theo's side, actually. Everybody loves yep. Theo. He's like everybody's favorite. Yeah. He yeah. seems to be the only sane person in the house. And we yeah. feel f for his struggles. But we'll talk about that. Yes, we're almost there. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Peter, Anna, and Katrina. So we see that Peter and Anna do have a strong connection. Yeah. And they do want to move forward with it. But we see the rift between Anna and Katrina. And they haven't gone into depth as far as, like, Things that have happened, they kind of explain, okay, it's guys and it's college and things like that. Do you think Peter and Anna are going to it's it gonna become a real Peter thing? Peter trying to hit. <sighs> I think he did. I think every already. guy's trying did to hit. Did he hit already? Hit Anna? Yeah. She's all right. She ain't all did that. Did he hit already, though? No. Did I miss Next that? week. Next no. week. Next, <laughs> week. next week, sorry. No, that's Jordan and Mike. Right. No, they didn't hit it yet, either. No, that's ain't next week. Ain't nobody hit yet. That's next week. No, but, I, no, but I'm just saying, so smashed. do you think Katrina is jealous because we see mm. we see Katrina go into Peter and approaching Peter and be like, hey, I know you know like my sister, just be good. And don't screw it up. That's probably oh. part of it. Well, I don't think she's wrong for that. No, no I'm saying do you think she's jealous. That's jealous. part of her like whole, Anna oh. says that she that's is. That's part of her whole history. She's always coming in between relationships. Like but they do that to each other though, I feel like. They say they both come in between each other significant They've done it to others. Each other. Which I don't quite understand. Are they like obsessed with each other? They don't want someone to destroy their sibling bond. Well they're I'm not also quite sure really they're also really close, which from. means they grew up and they have the same friends and things like that. So I yeah, so I mean I'm pretty sure there's been be a guy happy. that has tried to go after both of them at the same time and then right. boom, that's where they clash. Maybe. But I just don't understand where the wedge is coming from. Why they haven't explained it. That's what Peter was trying to get out yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. Because he kept saying like, like what, like, like what, like what are the issues like? And she would say, oh, this or that. And he'd be like, but yeah, but what are the but real I issues? But I don't understand. But can you sweet? And I don't I understand like that. Peter. Oh, yeah, Peter's cool. Peter's I, dope. Guess, I guess so far. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I like Peter. <laughs> He's associated with Mike, so I don't know about that. Yeah, right. I, I think Katrina's, Katrina's playing. Point. I think yeah, but I think Katrina's playing it while she's being the older sister. She's trying. She's defending her, taking care of her taking care of her mm -hmm. and that's what I would have done I would have pulled him aside and be like look I know we're on a show but don't do anything stupid right yeah. so if Katrina has that side as Anna says that she does then I'm pretty sure that we'll see it later on yeah and you brought up a good point Katrina also doesn't like Peter 
because he is friends with Mike. So whoever I'm on that train would too. be friends with Mike, you would think has similar douchebag traits. traits. Yeah, characteristics. Because you are the people you surround yourself with. Right? Just, that they, is true, and I hope you guys at deals. home keep surrounding yourselves with us here online. And we are not live right now, but catch us tomorrow on YouTube, and you guys can watch and give us five stars we'll and thumbs link. up and tomorrow. all that good stuff. Tomorrow. <laughs> We'll I talk to you tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, all right, moving on to... You don't want to hear it sing anymore? No, please don't. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not even going to try sugarcoat it. Um, all right, so Mike. let's talk about uh, Cassius and Theo. Um, if you guys da, da, have da. not seen, Theo lost his scholarship um, saying that he got arrested for pot in his dorm with Cassius, and it was Cassius, and Cassius blames Theo that it was his, his weed. So... This just makes me sad. It's really sad. It is. It's a whole Part of situation. me doesn't want to be like Theo. Are you sure you would have made it to the league if it wasn't for this incident? Like, I don't want to, like, downcut him because apparently everyone that he played with is in the NFL. And when I look at Theo, he seems, like, a little bit scrawnier. Like, I'm yeah, not, but, there's I don't are, wanna... but there are football guys in the league that are scrawny. It's all right, as long as you've got skills. Right, and I never saw him play, so I'm not coming at you, Theo. I just want to make sure, like, you're not putting all the blame on the Wii situation. And Like, he was, did go to another school, like a D3 school, I think he, he said. Did. But Aaron Rodgers, other, like, Tom Brady, a lot of, other quarterbacks and players went to lower schools and still and got, still got, and still got and drafted. You know, and you know what? Yeah. I, so, I can see that because I've thought about that too. It's like, yeah. okay, you lost your scholarship, but there are other ways. There are recruiters. Right. There are, you know, tryouts and things like that. But I think getting arrested with that could mm -hmm. have also hurt him and be like, hey, we're going to do a background check or hey, this and this and that. And now you see football players now with mm -hmm. all these scandals. But I mean, but I, I'm hoping that he'll explain anyway, that. No hey, matter what the a schedule coach is, is. going to see him on this show, and they're going to change his life. I mean, people, well, he's not playing football, football so players, I don't know. I think coaches are a little bit busy right now. I mean, there's a lot of football players out there beating their wives that are still playing on football teams. So whatever his scandal is, I'm sure I, if you're good I, enough, I, yeah. I want to know more still play of in the NFL. what. Okay, that situation happened, but why not try a different way? Right. I think that's kind of what Robbie was saying to him. He's been dwelling on the past right. for so long. He's been fucking up his future. Do you think he should be dwelling on the past, though? I mean, it's, no. it's that's been just four not years. A, that's not a way of life. That's just, no, he shouldn't So he all. should be over it by now? Well, not, not necessarily over it, but if that's his family, you have to forgive somebody at some point. He cannot be 65 years old still holding on to this weed situation. It happened. It's unfortunate. It changed his life. Um, but maybe he wasn't meant to be in the NFL. Maybe that wasn't the path that he was supposed to take. And look at the opportunity he, ha he has now. He's on MTV. You can make something out of the career that mm -hmm. you have from this show. Um, I don't know. You just, yeah, so just be, he has to be just a little bit more optimistic. It's unfortunate it wasn't his fault, um, right. according to his story. But at the same time, um, relationships are important. And, um, I mean, if Cassius is that close to him, at some point, he's going to have to mend it. Right. It may not be now. It may not be within the next year or two. But at the end of the day, he can't be 35, 40 years old still holding on to this. That's it's gross. not. That's not practical. It doesn't make sense. And like so. they say about forgiveness or not forgiving someone is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die from it. Like yeah. you're just hurting yourself. You got to move on. Yeah. And like the I didn't mean to come from come for you. I'm sure you were a baller, and I'm sure you would have gotten into the NFL. I was just saying like maybe. There's other reasons that you didn't get drafted, so you shouldn't blame Cassius for everything. Maybe. Yeah. Here, here's my take on this, though. You know, they keep fighting and blaming each other, and I believe Takes Theo a little bit more. That's yeah. the problem. Cassius says he's grown and mature, and he has a kid now to support. He has a two-year-old that he revealed on tonight's episode. But why not admit it? If mm -hmm. if he if I think Theo would man up and admit it if it were his and yeah, be like, you know what, like I screwed up my own life, I screwed up my right. own scholarship, and it's my fault. Right. Cassius, I don't feel he's as genuine, mm -hmm. but that's what Theo has been saying all night. Right. Is like, all I need for him is to admit it and fess up and say, you know what, I was wrong and right. I'm sorry. Yeah. And he hasn't. And ca it hasn't hit him mm -hmm. to do it. Well, you know what, I think... What we'll see out of the season is hopefully Cassius will mature sure. at a at a certain level because um, he's talking about he mentioned being stressed he had the tears the you know the violin moment where he was upset he's somebody he's stressed and he's missing work being in the house and whatnot um, I and did so feel for him a little bit yeah I did because you can um, feel at that, that point you see him as more human you maybe understand why his character and his persona is the way it is. Um, which is what I'm hoping I, we can get with Mike to try to understand why he's ass he is. But um, yeah, just you—you you see him as more human. I—I I don't know. I just think that 
hopefully throughout the situation and with him thinking about his, his son and being in the house and being able to bond with everybody he will realize hey this is my cousin this is my blood let me own up to it even if there's a possibility that there's um there's more to the story than what they're revealing on the show yeah because that, that's be possible too that is possible it may not be all theo and it may not even be all cassius yeah so um even if there's possible there's, that there's more to the story i feel like it's cassius and if he sees him hurting this much own up to it let that be it and move on you know mm -hmm. i think that's the adult thing to do it is but i don't i i don't you think, think he's, he's not now. well it's been four years. he's not yeah but he, i like don't think he's not there either like right. we see him talk and, and you know what if if you are missing that much work you're missing that much money your son is your priority and you're mm -hmm. that stressed out then why come on a show yeah uh, any reality show because you're he's not getting paid to be on there it's an opportunity so i understand kids you know i want to get out of the house or i'm in college and, and want to enjoy this experience and i'm all for that mm -hmm. but if you have so much going on at home then stay home because you don't see the veterans from the challenge who just had kids coming up here right hey. and do like the job's cool if you taking two months off of work just to be in the real world? Nah, is that, bro, he ain't gonna have that job. I'm like, are you gonna have a job to go back to? Nah, <laughs> like, I'm well, I, don't, I don't know, and I don't want to bag on him too much because I do, I do feel yeah, for the guy as far as, far as being sad. away from his son. So, I mean, I hope it works out, you know, in the long run and everything like that. How about uh, when Mike said he's never been rejected before? Did you ladies buy stop, that? Stop, He's no, a douchebag. Mike, Ugh, I don't even want to spend another minute talking about him. And he probably goes for the type of girls that are just, who has, like, low self-esteem that... He just happy, that, yeah. That that's just happy that a guy with a beard and some tattoos is talking to him. You saw who he danced with in the club. Hey, big Ooh. girls need love too. They do <laughs> need, they do need love. But I mean, never mind. I'm not mm -hmm. even gonna say but. Yeah. That, that was not gonna be, <laughs> well, that wasn't gonna yeah, be what you gonna uh, say? Nothing what you gonna good say? was gonna come after that. So let me just more, leave it. One more thing that I want to <laughs> jump on real quick is yeah. the two thousand dollars between Peter and Mike. They talked about it. All of a sudden, a fifteen minute conversation cured good? everything. No. Would you still be asking for your money? Because I would. Yeah, I have a similar situation with a friend who owes me money. Not quite $2,000, but like in the hundreds of dollars. Okay. And he, I was about to ask you how much it was, yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> it in it's in the hundreds of dollars. Okay. And we talked via Facebook because he moved to a different place. And so we were messaging back and forth, like, bro, like, you kind of in a sense stole this from me mm -hmm. uh, and like when are we getting this back he's like oh man I got you like when I get back to LA it's gonna be all good I'll pay you back so the homie's back in LA not the homie the dude is back in LA and uh, we have a face no, no he ain't the homie no more <laughs> never again and we had the conversation he acted like he didn't know what I was talking about he we had a mutual friend there was three of us in the room to I won like a mediator there for the situation mm -hmm. he acted like he did nothing wrong. He had to like he didn't steal this money from me. He had to like I didn't owe him anything. He said I was tripping. He said I was being crazy. So we didn't come to hands, but I wanted to. But I'm 26 years old, so I don't fight anymore. But God knows, like when it comes to money, that shit is just like Run real. Up, like, I, so so I, we no, I just like ended the communication with this person. Like, we don't talk anymore. Like obviously he's not gonna give me the money back. I'm not gonna like call the police and like be like a bitch about it. Like it's fine. Like he did me dirty. I don't have to learn the lesson the, the yeah. hard way. I was willing to forgive him mm -hmm. and try and mend the relationship. If he had admitted his mistake, I would even let him not pay me back, I guess. But if he had just admitted his mistake and been like, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but he didn't do that. So I see where Peter's coming from, where he just wanted that apology. So I can kind of, I can kind of give him a pass for forgiving his fr for forgiving his friend because I would have forgiven my friend also, but that conversation was like a little too. And when, like, you and didn't really he, get into the fact like why did you do this? Why did you make me pay this two thousand dollars? Why? Yeah, I, he, back, I didn't you know? like that conversation. For one, Peter was uh, Peter was kind of being a punk about it. I didn't like that. Yeah, he was being Mike, a punk about it. you have to be overly aggressive with Mike. He's just the type of person you have to be. And I just I honestly didn't feel like that conversation was genuine on his end mm -hmm. when he was just like, oh yeah, you're right, dude. Like I messed up, and I think he only did that because. I mean, you're a grown man on it, owing your friend money on national TV, but you act like you're this, 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 and that. Like, mm -hmm. if you this, 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 and that, pay him his two grand back. Right. You know, like, come he on now. like a big shot. Yeah, like, you're a big him. shot. Pay him his money back. Right. So, I don't know. That's not that's not attractive to me, you know? Like, as a, you're supposed to be this macho, like, alpha mm -hmm. male type guy. Like, give your friend his money back. And money is so sensitive. It's, it's, a, it's sensitive a sensitive subject, yeah. you know, especially when you loan to friends. And Peter was, you know, willing to be nice about it. Like, it's not even about the money. He would have had me messed up two grand. 
right. it is about the money. <laughs> you're like, that's what? rent. Right. Excuse me? Exactly. Exactly. No. Yeah, rent no, I would no. not be there. That's the one thing I think it's hard for people to learn. It's like you don't ask for money, and I, I don't ask for money, and I don't lend my no, money out. I never ask because for Because then this happens and friendships blow up. Yeah. Just like yeah. That. I'll just I don't know, how, I don't know if they're friends now. I don't know how close they are because if that conversation, it, I don't think his him admitting it and saying I'm sorry is genuine. And I would have been like, eh, that doesn't count. We'll try again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, he's like, there's no explanation as to why. He's just was like, oh, yeah, I was fucked up. I wasn't being a good friend. And then he's like, actually, I was a super good friend, minus this one incident. But Oh, Mikey. Oh, Mike. Michael. I've got some issues with you, boy. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, we you can catch us out. all next week. We got to shout out ankle support on 10. I thought that was the funniest quote of the night. The ankle support when she was running oh, around the hills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ankle yeah. alert. Yeah. Ankle yeah. alert. That yeah. had me dying. Guys, that's let them know where they can find you. I've seen that. You guys can follow me on Snapchat at Omari B. Also, Twitter and IG at On with Omari. Oh, yes. You can follow me at Instagram underscore Pimp Fried Rice. And hit Pimp me up on rice. Snapchat, too. Pimp yeah. Fried Dash Rice. My snaps are pretty ratchet. Are. I will never get over her rice. Pimp Fried Rice. <laughs> Pimp Fried Rice. Every that time. sounds really good right now. You guys can find me on Twitter at underscore Paulina Aguilar and on Instagram at Paulina M. Aguilar. And Mr. Rippy will be back with us next week. So tune in. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank you. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only. Do not From executive over. producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz See you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.